So here in Final Cut Pro 10, we're going to have a look at one of the common importing problems that you can have whilst importing footage from a camera or SD card. So we're going to go ahead and start up Final Cut Pro 10 and create a new library. And once we're in that library, we're going to put our SD card in and begin to import some footage and then also begin to edit with it a little and just show you where this problem can pop up as you're working with the footage. So I'm going to create a new library here when the open library window pops up. We'll call this importing issue and then once we've got that set up i'm going to pop my sd card into the slot at the back of my imac and the import window will now pop up so once the sd card is read then we'll be able to import some of this footage from the sd card so i'm going to do a very kind of quick edit to a timeline just to show how this works so we'll select 10 to 20 clips here or 58 rather so that the import is um, taking a reasonable amount of time and i'm going to hit import selected there and it's copying the files to my library so we'll see the copy start to happen here now as the copying is happening here we're going to create a new project or a new edit um, for this and we'll call this surf carbo and i'm just going to grab all these clips and you can see on the clips themselves on the bottom left there's a little circle that pops up which means that those clips are still importing and we can see the import progress um, happening up here which will pause as we bring clips down to the timeline and begin to edit so this is kind of where the problem starts to happen so we're going to drop all these onto the timeline and as we go through we'll have a look at a couple of clips we'll delete a couple and all this time that we're deleting or working on the timeline essentially the importing is is paused so that we can edit more fluidly once we've got our edit started I'm going to go ahead now um, and you can see the media is importing still and I'm going to pull out my SD card. So what will happen here now is that although I've got my footage on the timeline and it's appearing up here, um, Final Cut Pro has made a preview for thumbnail for lots of these. When I hover over my media, it basically comes up as a, a black image. So that means that the import's not completed. Essentially, we've got an edit and we start to see lots of red um, on our timeline and lots of black areas. So some of these shorter clips, um, we're seeing the thumbnail, but some of the other clips, we're seeing nothing. So there are some clips that have completed the import and we can see those at the end of our edit here, but a good chunk of the clips that we've got here aren't imported yet. So in order to fix this problem, it's quite simple. We need to stick the SD card back in and then re-import the footage and from the archive. So I'm gonna pop my SD card back in here. Now in general, it's not a good idea to pull your SD cards out as you're copying files from them. It's a little less dangerous than when you're copying files to a drive, um, but it can corrupt the drive as you're working. So once I'm in here, I'm just gonna close this. And once I've closed that, I'm just gonna have a look and scroll down and see where the importing has stopped. So these files are imported. You can see now that I put the camera card back in, it's basically letting me see those videos again and the timeline should come back to life as well. So it's recognized that the card is back in there. And if we click here, what Final Cut Pro doesn't do is it doesn't start to import the footage again. We need to set that going. So I'm gonna highlight this clip, scroll all the way up to the top, hold down shift, click on this top clip so I've got all those selected. You can see the yellow outline um, around all those clips. And now once I've got those clips selected, I can go to file, import and re-import from camera archive. So now Final Cut Pro give me this message. It's saying it's gonna re-import all the clips I have selected from the camera archive, which is the ones that were missing. I'll hit continue. And you can see that circle pops up again. And if I pop up to the background tasks here, then we can see that Final Cut Pro is importing those clips now. So essentially when you're importing your clips, it's not a good idea to start editing straight away if you can avoid it. I always find it better to know that I've got my media on the drive. It also means I've got a backup to copies of my, my footage. And from this point on, once the import is finished, then we can go ahead and eject the card properly from within Final Cut Pro 10 and go ahead and begin to edit our clips. So that's done now, so I can close this. Now, if we go to the finder here and try to eject the SD card, hit eject, it won't always eject. The computer will think that Final Cut Pro 10 is still using it and we'll get an error message that pops up saying Final Cut Pro is using that SD card. So if we wanna eject it, 
and it's always a good idea to eject it properly, we can jump back into Final Cut Pro, go to File, Import and Media, or Command and I. So I can now hit the eject button here, and from within Final Cut Pro, we can eject that SD card. And if the SD card is not ejecting properly here, then it's always a good idea just to quit out of Final Cut Pro. And then once you've quit Final Cut Pro, obviously it's gonna let you eject it. So we'll go back to the finder, hit the eject button, and now that SD card has nice and quickly ejected. We can drag it out and we've got a copy of our footage on our drive now. So if I reopen up Final Cut Pro, it'll start where it left off. We have our video footage, no error messages, no little cameras on the bottom left. And so we're ready to go, ready to edit now. So that's a quick overview of how to fix that particular import problem with Final Cut Pro 10. I guess one of the main lessons here is to keep an eye on the background tasks, make sure that all your importing has finished before you go ahead and pull out any SD cards. Even if you're in a hurry, it can sometimes be a, a little bit more time consuming later on if you don't wait for that import to happen and also a little bit confusing. So thanks for watching this tutorial. I hope you get time to check out some of my other tutorials and I look forward to seeing you on the next one.